Okay, so welcome back. This is another session of the how-to and firefall and more explanation that they give you than they give you in the tutorial. Battleframe Garage is where you select your equipment for the frame that you're in and uh, what frame you uh, you can put paint, <coughs> excuse me, paint and other things on. It. And then you go to the uh, Battleframe Station. That's this thing over here. In order to switch to the different battle frames, as you can see different ones here. You use your, your uh, mouse to scroll up and down and your left click to select the one that you want. So, we're going to look at the garage right now. Might be a little bit jittery. I don't know why I have the low frames here. Okay, uh, go in the garage. With the recent milestone patch a few weeks ago, they changed the way things are. You have three constraints that you unlock with the experience in the white, and you have, once you get into the green, you unlock with um, uh, particular resources for that frame. So for the electron, you need 10,000 electroactive polymers per constraint. Here you have mass, power, and CPU cores. Uh, once you get into the green, then uh, you can start unlocking some uh, higher level gear or so. Um, if you go over your uh, constraint, you'll start losing. Um, like here, for example, we have mass. I could have swore I unlocked more when I did this, but I'm still at 95% mobility, so I have just a touch more mass than what the frame can uh, handle for 100% mobility. And here's power. I'm, I'm over the power output right now. When you do have over, over amount, then see here it says power in excess of baseline levels will increase overall damage output. While val values lower than the baseline will reduce damage output. And this can be increased with power unlocks as you unlock these with experience here. And with CPU cores, they said that uh, it's not fully utilized right now, but they will be using more of this later. And <clears throat> so, newly manufactured items can be modified to require CPU cores to function, reducing their mass and power needs. Let me turn down the music because it's loud in my ears. Let's see. I don't know why it was at 100%. Uh, I usually have it less than that. So, um, and then you get, these are the much higher levels, and not levels, but unlocks, and uh, when you get it, when you go through these, you get pilot tokens at the, uh, at the end, which then can be used to unlock other frames. Uh, like here you have um, Nighthawk, which I don't have access to right now. It requires 10 pilot tokens, and as right now, they have set the red beans at 100 to purchase it, which is around they say eight or ten dollars uh, but this is beta so why would you pay to unlock something that might change so uh, just earn your way up and uh, that's how you unlock it so I have the Raptor uh, recon frame and uh, that's when you first start, start out you get the Accord basic stock Accord gear engineer, biotech, assault, dreadnought back to the electron here. So uh, as you can see like for actually for a raptor, like I said it, it's, it has different unlocks for, for the, um, the requirements for resources. This will require 10,000 computational metals for each of these. And so each of these different uh, frames has different resources it needs to get, unlock the different um, colored unlocks here. So here it goes up 20, 40, 80, and then 175,000. Looks like I could unlock some things here too. And of course for recon you want uh, your damage output and mobility so you can get up high. Uh, like I said in the previous video I created some uh, 
uh, level 2 Accord jump jets, and I don't have enough uh, materials to make the servos. Uh, servos, what they do is make you uh, run faster and give you a, a higher uh, initial jump height before your jump jets uh, activate. Let's see, what can I do here? So, I have 393, 397 experience, and to unlock these, it'll take 10,000 computation of metals and 64,000 experience. I am assuming I can, I have the metals. Let's see. Okay, so I just have enough for that. Okay, so that's all I could afford right now on that frame. Okay, so this is the Battlefront Garage, and if you want to go to the paint shop, click on that. At the top left, you can change the war paint. Different options here. Some are free, some cost red beans. And you just click on the bottom or top to uh, scroll through them. There's uh, the Brood, 15 beans. That's what that looks like. Flamingo, if you uh, like that color. Storm. Holly Jolly. <laughs> for for the Xmas time of the year was the serpent, leopard, jack o' lantern, and so forth. And then um, armor pattern. Let's. Uh, how do I get rid of this? I don't want to. I want to throw it away. So magma, camouflage, leopard. They only have three right now. Looks like. War paint. None. I said none. Come on. I want to throw it away. Oh, right here. The little trash icon there. And then, uh, let's see what else we have. Bodysuit pattern. I only have three right now leopard, magma, camouflage. decal, different decals you could place on the uh, body there, uh, like, um, let's see, what would be maybe good for an engineer, maybe, uh, let's see, wrench, and that's a free decal, so then you can place it anywhere, let's see, make it bigger, around put it anywhere no not your face <laughs> maybe on your hands no. and so you can spin it around make it bigger larger and so forth okay go back None. so that's the uh, battle frame garage and the battle frame station and as I said, a lot of people have been saying on the forums that uh, why don't they just integrate both of those into one station. So hopefully they'll do that. And uh, next video I'll uh, have to think of what else of, uh, to think of to uh, show as a uh, tutorial. Other things that uh, may not be s quite so clear from the, uh, the games tutorial. As I watch other people that are new playing and asking questions in chat, uh, I'll think of something to uh, uh, to give you. And once again, this is uh, you can follow me at Twitch.tv it paladin, and uh, Twitch, uh, excuse me, the YouTube channel is it pal game it p a l g a m e. I am not the it paladin on YouTube. I am not Vietnamese. And I speak English. <laughs> I don't think he does. He did, never responded back to my messages about getting my name, which I've been using since 2004. Okay, so uh, follow me, and you'll be uh, notified of live streams on Twitch. And subscribe so that then uh, we can get some more numbers up from my subscribing levels to give away Firefall beta keys. Once I'm at 18 and 28, I'll give away a couple keys. 
Thanks for watching.